Over the years, Elon Musk's SpaceX has overwhelmed the world with its incomparable production speed. However, things have become even more frenetic lately. There's even talk that something huge just happened to SpaceX's factory, which will blow your mind. Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The first thing we're going to talk about is the fact that SpaceX just set another record. The first Raptor 2 was spotted at the beginning of 2022, marking the end of Raptor 1. After Raptor 2 production began, SpaceX stopped producing all Raptor 1.5 engines. But in a post on Twitter on Friday, SpaceX just officially completed its 200th Raptor 2 engine. It's incredible! That production speed is unbelievable! The attached photo depicts the Raptor 2 engine as well as a Monopoly game-style Go arrow, which includes the message, collect 200 Raptors on your way to Mars. The Raptor 2 rocket engine design follows the Merlin vacuum engine, and it's set to help power the super heavy boosters that will be used for Starship, a launch vehicle that will completely revolutionize space exploration to expand life across the solar system. A NASA official shared SpaceX has moved very quickly on the development of Starship, now manufacturing one Raptor engine per day. Notably, as SpaceX builds and tests Raptors, it is rapidly iterating on these processes and producing higher quality engines. The company builds and tests the engines in its facilities in McGregor, Texas, after which they are shipped either to Boca Chica in the same state or to Florida in case of the Merlins. Most of the engine testing is also done in Texas, but SpaceX also tests them later on after they have been integrated with their rockets. Each Starship is equipped with six methane-fueled Raptor 2.0 engines, three with a much larger nozzle optimized for the vacuum of space. Super Heavy is equipped with 33 Raptors, capable of producing over 12 million pounds of thrust. Each Raptor 2.0 rocket engine produces over half a million pounds, or around 230 tons of force. Regarding production volume, Musk has previously said that the company's goal is to manufacture two to four engines per day. That's super high volume for big rocket engines, but low volume by automotive standards, he said. In the long term, SpaceX's manufacturing target is roughly 800 to 1,000 engines per year. That's about what's needed over 10 years to create the fleet to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. The city itself probably takes roughly 20 years, so hopefully it'll be built by around 2050, Musk said in 2021. Raptor engines are specifically designed for Mars colonization. The engines are fueled by a combination of cryogenic liquid methane and cryogenic liquid oxygen, which can be synthesized on the red planet's surface. The brave pioneers who will build Mars Base Alpha will build a propellant plant to produce starship fuel by extracting carbon dioxide from the planet's thin atmosphere and digging subsurface ice water to create methane and liquid oxygen through the Sabatier process and electrolysis. Musk says the fleet of a thousand fully reusable starships will be built over 20 years to hopefully have the first Martian colony up and running before the year of 2050. For this to become a reality within the 51-year-old's lifetime, SpaceX must increase the rate of innovation and production. Starship is still under development at the Starbase facility located in Boca Chica Village, Texas. Engineers are working around the clock to perform the first ever orbital flight test that will provide insight into how to improve the two-stage rocket ship. You can see it clearly through an inspiring video of employee life at Starbase SpaceX shared recently. The video features employees working on Starship development at the Starbase factory and showcases short video clips of the different amenities employees have access to, including restaurants, childcare services at an on-site Ad Astra school, and there's even a fleet of silver Airstream trailers where engineers can rest right next to stainless steel Starships. The company is now targeting to conduct this flight before 2022 comes to a close. And if it comes true, Musk's goal of making humans a multi-planetary species is no longer a pipe dream. Interestingly enough, not only has it achieved great success with the Raptor 2 engines, SpaceX has also just completed some brilliant milestones in the development history of its workhorse Falcon 9 rocket. And coincidentally, these records are also related to the number 200. The company has built and shipped its 200th Falcon second stage and Merlin vacuum engine. Now that's what I call Three's company. Approximately 13 years ago in late 2009 to 2010, SpaceX shipped the first flight-worthy prototype of the first iteration of its Falcon 9 second stage. 
In June of 2010, Falcon 9 lifted off on its inaugural test flight and with the help of that second stage, successfully launched a boilerplate mock-up of the Dragon spacecraft into orbit. Since Falcon 9's surprising inaugural success, SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets have launched another 187 times for a total of 188 launches and 189 assembled rockets. Every one of these launches has required a new second stage, and all but one, which is Crew Dragon's in-flight abort test, required a new Merlin vacuum engine. While SpaceX is most famous for the successful realization of rapidly reusable Falcon boosters, the company's overall success is also inextricably linked to Falcon second stages, which are and always will be expended after every launch. For every spectacular Falcon booster landing or reuse record, a Falcon second stage either unceremoniously burns up in Earth's atmosphere or finds itself stranded in orbit. As a result, even as SpaceX's reusability has allowed it to launch more than ever before with a fleet of just 10 to 20 Falcon boosters, the company has had to expand the production of Falcon second stages at extraordinary levels. SpaceX just completed its 188th Falcon 9 slash heavy launch, so the 200th flight-worthy second stage and MVAC engine are probably scheduled to launch sometime in January of 2023. In the last 365 days, SpaceX's Falcon rockets have completed 59 successful orbital launches. Every launch has required a new second stage, so SpaceX on average has consistently built, shipped, and tested a new Falcon second stage every 6.2 days for more than a year. Thanks to SpaceX's record-breaking 2022 launch cadence, which has resulted in Falcon 9 launching more in one calendar year than any other rocket in history, the Falcon second stage has likely become the most produced orbital rocket stage in decades. Barring surprises, SpaceX is on track to achieve CEO Elon Musk's goal of 60 Falcon launches in 2022. But SpaceX isn't done yet, and CEO Elon Musk says that the company is targeting up to 100 launches in 2023. After nearly doubling between early and late 2021, that will require Falcon second stage production to increase another 67% year over year. And after Falcon 9's successful November 3rd, 2022 launch of the UTELSAT Hotbird 13G communications satellite, SpaceX's Falcon rocket family has completed 160 launches without failure arguably making it the most reliable rocket family in history. To achieve this feat, with its partially reusable Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, SpaceX has had to master reusable and expendable orbital rockets to a degree that only a few other companies or space agencies in history can claim to have matched or exceeded, and that none have achieved simultaneously. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.